Hi, welcome to today's video. I'm going to do a video on chord construction and I'm going to use my bass to demonstrate it because it's big and bold and you can actually see how the chord is constructed um, by following the length of the string. Uh, the basic principle of playing a stringed instrument is when I shorten the string, so here's the end of my string over here, and if I play it at its full length, that's the lowest note that I'm playing here, and if I shorten the length, the shorter it gets, the shorter the distance between my finger, and here, the higher it gets. Each of these frets is a semitone. That said, let's move into it. There are four types of chords we're going to be looking at today, or the chord construction. So a chord means three notes together. I will actually be using a, um, a an arpeggio rather than a chord um, because I want this to go along one string and you can't play notes at the same time on one string. So when we use the term chord progression, sorry, not chord progression, chord construction, then we are constructing a chord, which we can then play as an arpeggio, which is what I'm gonna be playing here. So I'm gonna be playing a major chord, which sounds like this. In its arpeggiated form, or if I bring my right hand into play here. I've got four frets, or four semitones. So we start on a note and go up by four semitones, followed by three, you have a major chord. It's called major because major means big. Would you prefer to have a major problem or a minor problem? Well, a major problem would be a big problem. And you can see here that the span is four frets at the beginning, giving you the big distance at the beginning. If that distance was diminished to three, or decreased, the word diminished means decreased, but if I um, and I'm introducing the word diminished because I'm going to use it a bit later on, but anyway. Um, if I've got three frets at the beginning, and then you can see here that I'm in the same position, then the small distance at the beginning makes it into a minor chord. So three semitones followed by the four semitones at the end gives you minor. sound purposes again we've got the major big distance at the beginning four starting on a note followed by four semitones and then three at the end and then minor that's three semitones followed by four at the end so the big sound is the major and the small sound is the minor the big four frets is the major, the smaller three frets is the minor. We're starting on a note and going up by four semitones is major and going up by three semitones is minor. There's another thing that we can do. I said that we're gonna be taking our pairs of chords. My major, that's four frets at the beginning, followed by three, three four semitones followed by three semitones is major, four semitones followed by four semitones turns it into something that's called a momented chord where, so I asked you, would you prefer a big, a major problem or a minor problem? Um, major meaning big. So if the forest caught fire, it would be a major problem. If the forest caught fire and then the problem was augmented by high winds, it means I've taken what was big, four frets followed by three frets, or four semitones followed by three semitones, that making the major chord, I've now got four semitones followed by another four semitones. So if you start on whatever note you're going to make into a chord, stack up four semitones, 
four keys on the piano or four frets on the guitar. And then if you add another four semitones, that gives you an augmented chord. So what was... <laughs> So far we've covered major, four and then three, minor, three and then four, augmented, four and then four. So let's have a listen to that before we move on to the last one. semitones followed by three semitones, minor chord, three semitones followed by four semitones, augmented chord, four semitones followed by four semitones, and diminished chord, three semitones followed by three semitones. So it starts like the minor, but then goes up three semitones. So um, that's where we've taken things in terms of the chord theory. Major is four and then three. Minor is three and then four. Augmented is four and then four. And diminished is three and then three. So if you don't ever want to tap on a guitar, then pretty much you can switch off at this point. Um, share and like the video, but anyway. Um, for my guitarists, um, what I'm doing here is applying enough force you, you know that with your left hand that if you place it down and connect with the fret, then um, that gives you a note. I could do the same thing of just applying enough pressure. same pressure with my right hand. So here's my four and then three.